Here we are at the Voigt Conference Center Hotel in Lynchburg, Virginia. Hey guys. You guys led my singing in the talent show, right? Yeah, it was really good. Thanks. I'm gonna, there's an elevator in this building. Okay. Well, for it says office right here, guys, and they put a new sign up. The old sign was white. I got that. I got the old sign on video before, so you basically have to walk through this door to get access to the building, including the front door. And it leads into a lobby right here, this a lounge. So, and it leads to a man-powered elevator. And right here is the lobby of the Voigt Conference Center Hotel. There's, there's a fireplace. There's a piano right there that's really neat in a, in a, in a stereo system. And they have firewood right next to the fireplace. They, got, they have a lobby, coffee table, couches, nightstand, lamps too. Cool grandfather clock right there. And right here is the 1982 Dover elevator. This is, this was my first 1980s Dover elevator ever, guys. And let's ride. Here we go. And it runs very well. There's the bell indicator. Very cool. Go to two. Door closed when I push the button. I like that. Listen to the motor. And the indicator does not work, guys. It's completely burned out. Here we are at two. Go to one. Something hit the tow guard. Ooh, big bomb. But they did fix the door operator so the door is not crooked anymore. Go to two. Let's listen to the motor. The motor is a really old motor. take a look up in the shaft so we're gonna use the light on my phone so let's take a look what's in here yeah you can see the inside of the shaft a little bit yeah, pretty much you can see the inside of the shaft there's the Dover equipment up there right there you can see the the wheel pretty much you can see about everything up there. There's nothing else, but the whole shaft is brick. You can see up in the shaft, pretty much. Okay. We'll leave the light on my phone. And by the way, let's go ring the bell. All right. This is a very nice elevator, guys. So let's watch the door close. This is a better view from my phone. Because the bell does not ring when you push the button when the door's still open. It's the way this elevator functions. Okay, there it goes. And got the phone light, phone in my pocket, and here we go. It only rings once and it's supposed to ring two times per down. Okay. Be really quiet because other people are sleeping. Go to one. Over the past six years, I am going to miss this elevator. I've been riding it almost all the time since I've been coming here. Let's close the door and get a cat view. You can push one to close the door. 
Let's take a cat view before we go anywhere. I love the green carpet, dark green carpet. This is actually a very nice elevator. Pretty cool. You have your basic classic Dover fixtures. You got your light switch right there. There's no fan in here. There's the Dover logo right there. There's your emergency light and there's your indicator. It doesn't work. The indicator does not work. The capacity thing is gone. Ooh, dirty. And they still need to put a phone in there. It's kind of dangerous without a phone. And the magnet's missing too. And anyways, if any of you wants to listen to the motor, let's send this elevator up to two and let's listen to the motor. Let's listen to the motor. You ready guys? And you'll hear what it sounds like again. This is an older Dover motor sound. This is what the older Dover sound like with the motor right here. Wait for the door to close. Here it goes. That's what the motor sounds like. And I have to say, it's not that loud at all. Let's call it back down. Here it comes. Here it is. And let's get my phone and we'll take a look up at the shaft. up in the shaft a little bit there's a shaft light right there but it's not on right now I can see the shaft light bulb on top of the elevator car there's a lot of stuff right here the sensors are right there same on this side there's a lot of wires going from the call button right there there's the interlock. You could see it right there. You could see the. Sh you could get a view up in the shaft. Here's some of the rams and the oil lines, switches, relays, something up there. Okay. As I was saying, guys, let's take one more ride, and let's get a final listen to the machine. Ready? Listen to the motor. Here we go. I am going to miss that sound because this is a very good elevator. Go to one. Something at the tow guard. Bam! The door. Wow, the elevator went bump to the bottom floor. Okay. We'll watch the door to close, and then we'll say goodbye. Here's the bell indicator. Let's watch it close up. There it goes. I am going to miss this elevator, guys. Thank you so much, and that's it.